about 15 miles south of downtown Buffalo at Bill Stadium in Orchard Park. The folks in Buffalo love their Bills, and a moment ago, they entered to the delight of this sold-out crowd. They're set for football as their Bills will do battle with the Miami Dolphins. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. down gets him a yard to the 26 well, this defense Charles really played well in that win a week ago yeah and what stood out to me on tape the way they were flying to the football so that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence Here's second and nine. Tua sets up to pass it. 
And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. So the screen good for only two. Now it's third down. Here's Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So Tua making the completion there. You know, what's different about playing a left-handed quarterback like him? And specifically, I guess, what does this defense need to try and take away? I'll take the first part that you asked about being left-handed. We've got to find out if he can move to his right and still continue to be accurate. So I want to push him in that direction and see if he can get his body squared around and make those throws that he's used to making. The next part is he's a dart thrower. Loves those short to intermediate routes first. Sit on those and make him throw the deep ball. Not that he's not capable, but you want him to prove it to you first. From the 41, Tua. He'll drop this underneath to Gurley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. And they'll use him out of the backfield, and sometimes quite a bit. They're just trying to get him touches any way they can. Four catches a week ago, there's another one right there. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. Throw left side here, complete to the tight end, Gesicki. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Counting down toward the midway point in corner one. Play action, now it's Tua. That's going to be caught by Waddle. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 23 yards on the play. Okay, I'm not so great at math, but I just looked over at our statistician, Marvin, and he signaled to me five for five to get <laughs> things started here on this opening drive. Where I come from, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now, what do you do defensively to adjust? Well, this is where you've got to make a decision as, your defensive, as a defensive coordinator. Do you really get after the quarterback? Or maybe you tighten down on the receivers, bump them off of their routes, chip away at their timing so things aren't as precise as they've been in so far in this game. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Two are going to throw. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. Despite a little power on the move, still tackled shy of the 20. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven at the 18-yard line. To throw, it's Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. The catch and run, good for 18 and a first down. Well, these two teams, they met up earlier in the year, back in week two. And it was the Bills winning on the road, so they look for the sweep here in Buffalo. Allen off the play fake. Eluding the pressure right. 
Oh, Diggs, what a catch. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 48-yard line. Allen going to throw. He'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And some room to maneuver. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. No score after one on EA Sports. On first down, here's Brita. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Nice job there defensively. A great time to dial up a blitz. And give him credit under center instead of throwing it away. Actually a pretty good job of getting past the line of scrimmage, not losing yardage. Throwing his Allen on third. He's got the connection to Cole Beasley. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And this one is no good. He missed it. And this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up an empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. They'll get this out in a hurry to Parker. And he goes out right around the 39. Five yards on the pickup. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Brings up third and two. And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. So the hand got inside the face mask that time. Looked like a, a pretty easy call. And it was. And we saw this in their loss last week. Penalties at inopportune times that led to their demise. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. 
Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. Now the pressure gets there, and Tua's going to be taken down. Ed Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Tell you what, he did not have much time there to ski in the field before he was ducking and covering. Did it appear to you, as it did to me, that the defensive front won their play really quickly, yeah. meaning the guys in front of them had almost no chance to block them? They were on him in a hurry. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I think he just made the punter a little bit jealous there. There was some serious hang time on that ball deep downfield, and while it didn't connect, it certainly sent a message, didn't it? An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Open receiver here. Complete. It's Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Here's Tonga Vailoa on first and ten. They'll get this out to Gurley. And down inside the 15 he goes. 12 more yards there and another first down. First down, Dolphins. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. And it's caught. Touchdown, Dolphins. Todd Gurley, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they have to feel like they missed on an opportunity for points last time when they couldn't connect on that short field goal drive. And no doubt about it, because they were counting on those points. In today's NFL, let's face it, that's really a chip shot, right? That's anything inside 40. Yeah, they, they're counting on that going through the post. But we've seen it happen to teams before. Some of the best kickers in the world can miss kicks like that. Can they come back now and redeem themselves? Throwing again on second down. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. 
Here's Allen to throw it. Flush to his right. Check down to Breida. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. He was out there waving his arms. And when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. Flushed out right. Caught right side, Davis. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Throwing on first down is Allen. It's Knox, the tight end, making the catch. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. To throw again on second down. Allen. He'll get this out wide to Singletary. It'll be a three-yard game. And that'll bring up a third down. They'll try to run for this with Singletary. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. So we are at halftime here on Halloween. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Final adjustments being made for the second half. So with that, we get you back up to Orchard Park and rejoin Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. The Bills trail here, but they will get the football first as we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. On first down, Allen. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. 
And the defense loses it. It's complete. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs. His second touchdown on the season. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. For Stephon Diggs, he can do a lot of things. He can be a possession type receiver. He can take the top off a defense. Or he can do what we saw right there, make a catch, and then turn it into a big game. And I caught a quick glimpse of him before the ball was snapped, and there was something about his body language where you could tell early in this play, he wasn't just thinking first down. He was thinking end zone, and he got there. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Well, now how about this return? And they got to be pleased with this. He brings it all the way up to the 40-yard line. Well, someone wasn't very happy about that game being tied up. They came right back at them with a big-time return. They want to get back out in front as fast as possible. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Tua now on first down. And the pressure gets there, and Tua is going to be taken down. Jerry Hughes able to record his fifth sack of the season. Impressive individual effort there. No one was going to stop him around the edge. Yeah, no doubt about it. And that's why if you play in a 4-3 base and you're a defensive end, that's why you get the big bucks. They count on you to do everything. Defend the run and, of course, get to the quarterback. To try again after the sack, Tua. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. He's letting this one go for Fuller. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On play action, here's Tua. He's going to try and go deep again. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown, Miami. Jalen Waddle with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. Sanders on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. come to the line to start their next drive they did what they had to do to start this third quarter went down got the touchdown to cut the lead but the matching touchdown a moment ago and we're right back where we started at halftime yeah you're exactly right partner they had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first touchdown but the defense gave one up and that's the problem right now can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense the hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that, looks like an extra step was involved. Four down, four down, four down. 
Now a give running left is Breda. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But I think after that run, the defense getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Play action. Now it's Allen. He's got it complete to Diggs right side. And he's brought down. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. To throw, it's Allen. He'll get this into the hands of Burita. 11 yards there, just like last play. They certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Buying time to his left. This is caught. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A really good pickup of 28 yards. That's a big league job there, getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. Breida. And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Firing quickly is Allen. That's complete. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that round early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. That ties the game at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dolphins take over first and 10 at their own 29 yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. Into the secondary, past the 40. And he takes it all the way up to the 47. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And a nice little broken tackle run there by Todd Gurley, the 10th pick in the 2015 draft. And that's what you get with him, that full package of speed, power, able to catch the ball in the backfield. Many people doubted him coming out because of the knee injury in college. <laughs> They're seeing the full Todd Gurley now, and it hurts. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Gurley. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? 
Now an option play on second down. He had a great strong move, but he'll still be stopped shy of midfield. Only a yard there on the keeper, and that's going to leave him with a third down. But now they're in a spot that every team tells us when we have our production meetings they don't want to be in third and long, and that's because those back-to-back -back running plays just didn't accomplish a whole lot. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They run out of the shotgun with Gurley. And this won't be enough. A good, secure tackle, and they stop him a few yards shy at the 46. Three quarters of the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down, and the Bills are going to get the football back. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. We'll see if they can grab the lead. Either way, what a job their defense did to force the turnover on downs to set up this opportunity. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Allen's throw here pulled in by Beasley. A partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Allen now on first down. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time, and a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. They'll dump this down to Matt Breida. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Brandon, you know this is going to be discussed because this is the fear of all the backs when they run this type of a route. They've got to find the football, and sometimes they don't see the defender. And in this case, he took a pretty good shot for his efforts, but give him credit, able to hold on to the football. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Matt Breida, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bills have broken the tie. And on its way to the end zone, shedding the tackle, he would not be denied. That's what's called finishing the run. Making sure you power your way through. One-on-one -on -one tackle. No running back wants to go to the bench and say, ah, I got stopped just short. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback.
The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. Play fake. Here's Tonga by Loa. Good work on the scamper by Tonga by Loa. It's a first down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one score game. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Two and now on first down. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Tonga Vailoa, 11 more yards that go around, a first down, and this is caught inside the five, and he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Here's Tua. Touchdown, Dolphins! Adrian Peterson, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. Isaiah McKenzie now on the return. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because... To be ahead of the defense that much, where every play call you have, run or pass, is working pretty well for you. Makes you look like a genius. It really does. It also lets you know that your preparation was pretty good, and now the defense has to do all the adjusting. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Throwing is Allen. Allen hit. He lost the football. And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And that will be incomplete. 
Well, the defense certainly did its job. They held up in that situation, and now fourth down, you've got to punt this and try to get to overtime. There's no decision to be made, in my estimation. Here's Matt Hawk now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. Absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. Now Tua. He's got to complete to Waddle. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. And time to give some credit to the big fellas, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Tua. And that's into the hands of Gesicki. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as he'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. So on the heels of the run by Todd Gurley, another first and ten. Two and a throw. And this would complete to Will Fuller. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second down and three. Back to throw is Tua. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. A field goal try would be almost 50 yards from this spot. So what can they do to get closer now on third down? to the ground game here, Gurley. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. 
on third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. Second down, it's Bell. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. Okay, so in the past, we had sudden death. First team to score wins, but no longer. Now, if the team receives the ball, scores a touchdown, they win the game. If they kick a field goal, though, or don't score, the other team gets a possession. And after both teams get a possession, then we're... So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. Returning it, Isaiah McKenzie. And he will be brought out here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. And I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now. The ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Second and seven. They run again with Breda. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. First throw of overtime for Allen. Check down to Breda. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He gets seven out of it, and he also gets a first. That's just what you call a chain mover right there. Nothing fancy. Get the ball out to the back, and you're asking him to make a little bit extra out of maybe what is nothing. And he does exactly that. Picks up the first down. I can't wait till we get to the point, partner, where we're not saying chain mover but we're saying laser pointer picks it up for the first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Brita on a toss left. And he'll get this only up to about the 35. Byron Jones in there to make the tackle. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside where they can really shred your defense. From the 35 on second down, Allen flushed to his right. Then he's got his man here, Beasley. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 43. Running out of the gun here, Brita. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The last run got a couple here, second and eight. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
70 yards rushing for him now as he was just trying to wield his guys to an overtime victory. Now a give to Breda. There he goes again. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown and a game winner in the time to decide this one. The rushing score and OT finishes it off, but all throughout really just a great game to witness. I agree, and, and the whole time we were watching and, and working on this game, I had it in the back of my head. We could get to overtime just the way this game went, the ebb and flow of it all, and then to get there and finish it what I would call an old school way, a running play, because in today's NFL, we throw the ball to ring the bell, don't we? <laughs> Not there. They ran it in. And again, just a great, great game that we bore witness to.